Pacific Biosciences of California, Inc. is a biotechnology company founded in 2004 that develops and manufactures systems for gene sequencing and some novel real-time biological observation. PacBio describes its platform as single-molecule real-time sequencing based on the properties of zero-mode waveguides. The company's first commercial product, the Pac Bio RS, was sold to a limited set of customers in 2010 and was commercially released in early 2011. A new version of the sequencer called the Pac Bio RS2 was released in April 2013. On 25 September 2013 a partnership between Pacific Biosciences and Roche Diagnostics was announced for the development of in vitro diagnostic products using the technology, with Roche providing $75 million in the deal. In 2015, the company launched a new sequencing instrument called the SQL system with approximately seven-fold greater capacity than the Pac Bio RS2. On the 1st of November 2018, Illumina entered into a purchase agreement to buy Pac Bio for approximately $1.2 billion in total. Topic history The company was founded based on research done at Cornell University, that combined semiconductor processing and photonics with biotechnology research. It was initially founded under the name Nanofluidics, Inc. The company raised nearly $400 million in six rounds of primarily venture capital financing, making it one of the most capitalized startups in 2010 leading up to their public offering in October of that year. Key investors included Moore Davido Ventures, Kleiner, Perkins, Cofield & Byers, Alloy Ventures, and Wellcome Trust. Recognitions The company received the Technology Pioneer Award from the World Economic Forum in 2009. In 2010, the scientist named the company and their first product the Top Life Science Innovation of the Year, and the company received the 2010 Advanced Sequencing Technology Award from the National Human Genome Research Institute. Technology Review magazine included them in their list of the top 50 most innovative companies for both 2010 and 2011. Founder and Chief Technical Officer Dr. Stephen Turner was awarded the 2010 Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation Outstanding Postdoctoral Entrepreneur Award for his work at the company. <laughs> Going public In an initial public offering on October 27, 2010, Pacific Biosciences sold 12,500,000 shares at a price of $16 per share and raised approximately $200 million. The shares trade on NASDAQ under the symbol PACB. Purchase On 1 November 2018, Illumina agreed to purchase PacBio for $1.2 billion in cash. The deal is expected to close in the summer of 2019. Products Sequencing instruments The company's first scientific instrument, called the Pac Bio RS, was released to a limited set of 11 customers in late 2010. Sequencing provider GATC Biotech was selected by Pacific Biosciences as its first European service provider in late 2010. The product was then commercially released in early 2011. A new version of the sequencer called the Pac Bio RS2 was released in April 2013. It produces longer sequence reads and offers higher throughput than the original instrument. In September 2015, the company announced the launch of a new sequencing instrument, the SQL system. 
The sequencer has increased capacity with 1 million zero mode waveguides compared to 150,000 in the PAC Bio RS2, and is approximately one third the size and one half the price of the PAC Bio RS2. Pacific Biosciences said it would ship about 10 of the new instruments in the final quarter of 2015. In May 2010, an article in Nature Methods showed that PacBio's instrument can detect methylation of DNA strands without altering the DNA. In 2012, scientists used SMRT sequencing to generate full bacterial methylomes. Reagents and SMRT cells Further information, single molecule real-time sequencing To use either instrument, customers must also purchase reagent packs for DNA preparation and sequencing and small consumables called SMRT cells. Each RS cell is slightly less than 1 cm2 and contains tens of thousands of zero-mode waveguides. Each SQL cell is about 2.5 cm2 and contains 1 million zero-mode waveguides. The RS cells are sold in packs of 8 and SQL cells in packs of 4. On 19 September 2018, PacBio released the SQL 6.0 chemistry, synchronizing the chemistry version with the software version. Performance is contrasted for large insert libraries and high molecular weight DNA versus shorter insert libraries below approximately 15,000 bases in length. For larger templates average read lengths are up to 30,000 bases. For shorter insert libraries, average read length are up to 100,000 bases while reading the same molecule in a circle. The latter shorter insert libraries then yield up to 50 billion bases from a single SMRT cell. <laughs> Software Their secondary analysis bioinformatics product for the RS, called SMRT Analysis, was open source. For the SQL system the secondary analysis software was reorganized as the SMRT Link application. In 2013, the company released new bioinformatics tools for automated genome assembly and finishing to 99.999% accuracy quiver. Topic: <laughs> Key publications. Before the first commercial release of their sequencer, scientists published in January 2009 the first sequence data generated from a single molecule real-time sequencing in the journal Science. Then in April 2010, scientists published a paper in Nature showing that they had used zero-mode waveguides to perform real-time observation of ribosomal translation, demonstrating the value for bacterial sequencing. Scientists from Pacific Biosciences and other institutions published in January 2011 a paper in the New England Journal of Medicine demonstrating the origin of the 2010 cholera outbreak in Haiti. In August 2011, Pacific Biosciences scientists and collaborators at other organizations published a paper in the New England Journal of Medicine describing the classification of the E. coli strain causing the virulent 2011 outbreak in Germany responsible for hundreds of cases of hemolytic uremic syndrome. This paper showed that the strain of E. coli responsible for the outbreak had acquired a Shiga toxin encoding phage through lateral gene transfer. In July 2012, several papers were published in peer review journals demonstrating methods to automate genome finishing for bacteria using single molecule real time sequencing. In 2013, scientists estimated that the majority of bacterial and archaeal genomes could be fully sequenced and assembled to closure using PacBio long reads. Several papers published by researchers at Pacific Biosciences demonstrated that the sequencing instrument can be used to collect data on methylation, DNA damage, and other epigenetic information. 
the polymerase that performs the sequencing reaction in the zero-mode waveguides produces kinetic data that can be used to distinguish base modifications. In October 2012, scientists used SMRT sequencing to generate the methylomes of six bacteria, reporting their results in a paper in Nucleic Acids Research. With increasing red length and throughput, mammalian studies increased using the product. In April 2012, scientists from Pacific Biosciences, the University of California, and other institutes used SMRT sequencing to prove the validity of activating internal tandem duplication mutations in FLT3 as a therapeutic target in acute myeloid leukemia. Their findings were published in the journal Nature. In August 2012, scientists at the Broad Institute published a paper reporting the findings of their evaluation of the Pacific Biosciences Sequencer for SNP calling and discovery. Scientists reported in Genome Research in October 2012 the use of the PAC Bio platform to sequence the full repeat expansion in the FMR1 gene responsible for Fragile X syndrome. A paper published in December 2012 offered the first demonstration of how to generate sequence data with the PAC Bio sequencer with no library preparation. In 2013, scientists published papers demonstrating the use of PAC bio sequencing to analyze transcriptomes, showing that long reads were able to fully capture complete isoforms. <laughs> 